Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to trade cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum with leverage, but without KYC over on the DYDX decentralized exchange, utilizing smart contracts via your MetaMask wallet. Thus, you keep control of your crypto and your keys. And therefore, you're not trusting some third party centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase to return your crypto when you need it. Now, if you're wondering who DYDX is, we can jump over here to CoinMarketCap and we can do a little bit of recon. If we come over here to the Exchange tab, scroll down to the DEX, give that a click. That will bring us over here to a list of the top cryptocurrency decentralized exchanges. And number one is Uniswap. No big surprise there. And number two, however, is DYDX with a volume of just shy of a billion dollars. And they're not that far behind Uniswap, just about 300 million behind Uniswap. Now, one of the differences between Uniswap and DYDX is the type of exchange that they are. Uniswap is a swap exchange where you swap one currency for another, whereas DYDX operates similar to a traditional exchange with an order book where you're actually placing buy or sell orders. Now, if we take a little deeper dive into DYDX, you can see that DYDX is the developer of a leading non-custodial decentralized exchange or a DEX, and their main focus is really trading cryptocurrency derivatives like perpetual contracts. And like I mentioned before, you basically connect your MetaMask wallet to the exchange and thus it runs on audited smart contracts on blockchains like Ethereum, which eliminates a trusted third party like Binance or Coinbase where you're trusting them with your crypto. Now I've done my own recon. You will definitely want to do a little more recon. I will tell you that DYDX was founded in like 2017 and I think the platform actually launched in 2019 and so they've been around and they've survived some bear markets unlike say FTX who basically got wiped out by this most recent bear market and that was a centralized exchange and traders were not able to get their money back from FTX. But that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to actually trading. And so you'll want to jump over to the dydx.exchange website. I will drop a link in the description down below. And as you can see from the website, they do offer free trading. I guess we should look at the fees before we actually get into the trading. And the fee structure for DYDX is based on a maker and taker orders. Now a maker is basically a limit order and a taker is essentially a market order. Makers make the market limit orders make the market your order hits the order book where takers take from the market your market orders are basically taking orders off the order book and then as far as the actual fees themselves you can see the first level is free within a 30-day period if your volume is a hundred thousand dollars or less you will not pay either maker or taker fee now trading with leverage it's not very hard to exceed the hundred thousand dollar mark and so in reality, you might actually be falling into level one or level two fees where you can see the maker fee is 0.02% to maybe 0.015% and your taker fee is 0.05 or 0.04%, which is pretty much in line with like your Binance's and your Bybits as far as trading fees go. Now, this level one or level two 30-day volume is actually not that hard to meet when you're using leverage. So again, the more you trade, the more volume you have, you can see your fees do decline with the more volume that you trade. Now, another way to get a trading fee discount would be to actually hold some DYDX and thus you could get even more of a discount on your trading fees depending on how much DYDX or staked DYDX that you actually hold. And this structure is somewhat similar to holding BNB tokens if you're trading over on Binance. Now, with that all being said, let's jump back over to the DYDX website and click on the trade button over here in the upper right hand corner. 
That will land us over here on the trading dashboard for DYDX. And the first thing you will need to do is connect a wallet. And so you can click on connect wallet. And that'll give you a pop-up of a variety of different wallets you can choose metamask the coinbase wallet in this case i will be connecting my metamask wallet so i just give that a click and as it's connecting it's important to note that connecting to dydx is free and does not affect your funds in any way now if this is the first time you're actually connecting your wallet to the exchange you'll have to do a verification of ownership and then you'll need to enable trading. This would be similar to setting up API keys over on exchange where you're authorizing trading for your particular account. And again, these two signature requests will not incur a fee if you don't want to have to go through this step every time. Under Remember Me, you can toggle that on and then click Send Request. And it will first verify I actually have ownership of the account. So I just need to click sign over here in my MetaMask wallet. And now the enable trading gives me secure access to their API for lightning quick trading. So I click sign. And now you can see up here in the right hand corner of the screen, my MetaMask wallet is connected to the exchange. And now I can drop down here to the lower right hand corner of the screen where it says the deposit funds and give that a click but before I do something you want to make sure when you are actually interacting with your MetaMask wallet with pretty much any exchange but in this case we're dealing with DYDX the DYDX exchange as far as I can tell right now really only interface is with Ethereum mainnet so you want to make sure you're on your Ethereum mainnet in addition to you want to make sure you have some ETH in your wallet to cover any transaction fees that might occur from deposits or withdrawals. I do believe there are some gasless transactions for deposits depending on how much you're depositing. Something else to note that most of the contracts you're going to be trading are USDC contracts, not USDT. And so you would, in theory, want to have some USDC in your Ethereum account. You can see I have USDT and I need to convert some of this USDT into USDC. And so if I click on USDT, click on swap, I will convert, let's say 500 USDT into USDC. If I select the swap to and click on USDC, I can review the swap. This is going to be extremely expensive. As you can see, the estimated gas fees are $82. So I'm going to click on cancel and I will actually send some USDC from probably my Exodus wallet. So I can copy my account address by clicking copy to clipboard right here. Open up my Exodus wallet, jump over here to USDC or USD coin, click on that and then click on send. Now I just paste my MetaMask address right here and select the amount of USDC I want to send. We'll go ahead and send 600 USDC. You can see my fee down here is $31 essentially in ETH. So it's less than that $85 fee to swap. So I'll go ahead and click send. It's still a pretty high fee. And that is part of the problem with dealing with the Ethereum network. I hope in the future DYDX switches to a less expensive network. So I'll go ahead and click send. The coins have been sent. Now it will take a moment or two or maybe just a second or two. The funds have already shown up in my account. So again, I drop down here to the deposit funds button, give that a click. The asset I wanna deposit is USDC. The amount is, I could click max, which would be the 600 USDC I have available, but I'm only going to transfer 500 USDC. Now, as you can see, my deposit meets the gasless deposit minimum of 500 USDC. Now, I think the minimum amount you can deposit is like $10, but in this case, because I'm depositing 500 USDC, my deposit meets the gasless deposit minimum of 500 USDC. So DYDX will cover the gas fees for this deposit. 
Thus, I'm not paying any fees for this transaction. Now, another option is you can deposit with fiat, but in order to deposit with fiat, you will have to go through the KYC process. So I'm not going to actually cover that because I have no desire to go through a KYC process. So all I need to do now is click enable USDC down here at the bottom of the screen. I will need to set up a spending cap for interaction with DYDX. And in this case, since I'm sending over 500 USDC, I'm just going to put in 500 USDC, click approve. And now the last step is actually to confirm the deposit down here at the bottom of the screen, click confirm deposit. We will need to interact with the MetaMask wallet one last time to sign this request. And you will need to probably scroll down through this information for the sign button to become available. I can click sign. And now my deposit is in progress. It will actually take 14 confirmations before my funds are available. All right, so you can see the deposit was successful and now I have 500 USDC in my portfolio. So I'm ready to trade and I just need to come up here to the trade tab, give that a click and that will bring me over here to the trading dashboard. Now I need to select what pair I actually want to trade. And as you can see, there's a variety of different pairs you can trade now. I don't trade the majority of these other coins. I pretty much just trade ETH and BTC. So if I choose BTC, USD pair. All right, so now that I have my pair selected, you can see my buying power is up to 10,000, which would essentially be 20X leverage on my equity of $500. My margin usage obviously right now is 0% because I'm not in any positions. And then your account leverage is basically what leverage you're using since you're set up as crossed margin. If you have multiple positions, your risk would be spread across all of those positions based on the leverage. Now with that all in mind, we're ready to place an order and we can do either a limit or a market order or we could do a stop order. Now remember, as far as the fees go, you'll pay less fees if you're doing a limit order versus a market order. Now to execute a limit order, you would put in the amount of the order size. I prefer to place my orders based on USD in relations to my actual equity. And so for example, if I put in 500 USD, at a limit price based on going long or buying, let's just say we want to go long if Bitcoin's price pulls back down to, to say 28.5. You can now see that this long position would be using only 1x leverage, which again, 500 USD would be my equity that I currently have. So if we bump that to 5,000, USD. Now you can see my leverage if I execute this order would be around 10x and my liquidation price would be around 26,442 if the price continued to move down from this 28.5. So 9x leverage would be within my risk tolerance and we got our limit price at 28.5. Now we have some advanced options. Probably the more important factor would be post only or reduce only. If you want to ensure that this order gets filled as a limit order and you pay the lower fees, you would want to check off post only and that will ensure that your order gets filled as a limit order versus a market order. For example, it could fill as a market order if when I submit this order, the price of Bitcoin is actually below 28.5. My order going long would fill immediately at the lower price, taking advantage of that lower price and thus it'd be filled as a market order. In this case, I have enough room between my limit price and the current price that the odds of it filling immediately are slim to none. So I don't actually need to post only. Now you can see the fee, maker fee. I'm not going to pay a maker fee at this point in time because my trading volume on this account would be under that $100,000 limit. And then the total would be around that 5,000 because again, I'm hitting around 10X leverage on my 500 USD. And so I could go ahead now and click place limit order. And now if you jump over here to the orders tab, you will see that limit order is out there and waiting to be filled. And if you look up at the chart, you can see my limit order on the chart is basically down here at the bottom of this sell off 
where perhaps we'll find support and Bitcoin's price would bounce again from there. In reality, this is not how I would trade, so I am going to go ahead and cancel this particular order. And before we wrap things up, let's go ahead and place a market order. So if we come over here and click on market, and so now I would actually pay a higher fee because I'd be considered a taker. Now in this case, let's go short. So we click on sell. As you can see, I can set the order size amount. Again, I'm going to base it on the actual USD and we'll go 5,000. Again, we're looking at about 10x leverage at 5,000, which 5,000 USD is 10x my $500 in equity. Again, you can use up to as much as 20x leverage over here on this platform. Now, if we scroll down, you can see a button that says triggers. If we give that a click, this is where I can set a stop loss or a take profit. And in this case, I could do that based on a dollar amount or percentage. Now, I trade based on percentages. So I could say, for example, I want a stop loss of, say, 3%. And I want a take profit of 6%. So I'm getting a 1 to 2 risk versus reward ratio and that will show you where the price would actually hit for those stop losses or your take profit and these orders will also execute as market orders so you will pay that higher fee now if we scroll down you do get a warning which is kind of nice that your stop loss trigger price is too close to your liquidation price and they recommend you move your stop loss price which I definitely agree with you never want to get liquidated thus you always want to have a stop loss a good distance away from your liquidation price and so I will change it from three percent to let's just cut it in half one and a half percent and then we'll make our profit three percent so I'm still getting that one to two risk versus reward ratio now you can see the warning is in yellow versus red. It's just letting me know that my trigger price is close to my liquidation price. So the stop loss order might not execute fully before getting liquidated, which could happen anyway with a volatile market. But I'm good with that for the moment. So let's go ahead and add those triggers to my order. And now you can see I have a stop loss and my take profit orders have been added. And so a recap real quick, the expected price is going to be around 28.8. My price impact is 0.01%. My fee is going to be the taker. However, because I haven't placed any orders on this account, I'm still at that zero fee. And the total amount of the order is going to be that 5,000 USD. So we go ahead, place our market order, and it placed the market order, my stop, and my trade profit orders. If I click on orders, you can see the sell order was filled at market. If we click on fills, again, you can see that order was filled, and my entry was 28,839. If I click back over on positions, you can see I have a short position. I'm currently down 92 cents or 0.02% as far as my unrealized PL. And you can also now see my positions on the chart. You can see my open position, my stop loss position, and my take profit position down here. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. This was way longer than I expected. It was not intended to be an in-depth how to trade over here on DYDX. It was really just to show you how to connect your MetaMask wallet, get some funds on the exchange and do a little bit of trading. But in the future, I will do a more in-depth video on how I actually trade over here on DYDX. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to DYDX in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.